Hi, it's Luke from Lux Mushrooms. We have Sunday the 25th of July 2021. I'm in Czechia in a mostly coniferous forest. And this is one of the zeps that we have found so far. I hope we will find many of them, but let's see. This is a nice young and healthy piece. I believe there will be some more. There are quite many of these bitter mushrooms. I don't know the exact name, but we call them the bitter bolides. And they look very similar to ceps, but if you accidentally take them and they get into your meal made of mushrooms, they would ruin it because they are so bitter. I will take some of them today because I want to do some experiments because of their healing effects but I will not eat them so don't pick these for eating there are more of the bitter ones for example these two bigger guys or this young and fresh or these three and some more or the away. There is a very huge zap here. I'm afraid it will be too old. I'm not going to take it because it's already very damaged, but it's very huge. I've just found a place with some very nice mushrooms. For example, there is this duo of Scarlettina bolid and the Peniban or the Boletus edulis zep. Of course, I will take this one. But this is not everything that is here. For example, some nice Amanitas, like Amanita muscaria, the fly agaric, or this nice Amanita regulis, or regalis, uh, I think it's the royal fly Amanita in English. There are also some blushers here. But except of them, I also saw more zeps. One is here looks very very nice I think there were two more I just lost them from my sight so I need to check around a little bit but in the meantime we can see more of the royal fly um, agarics Here is a third penny bun, also a very nice young piece.
and there was one more under this tree. Another beautiful piece. This is the kind of mushrooming I like. There are some more blushers. And the Scarletina Bolit. This one looks quite young. I would take it if it's okay. Yeah, looks very nice. There are some blueberry bushes here and under them one young zep. And a bit further I saw a big one. Not sure if that one will be healthy but we'll see actually I think it's two and look they look quite nice actually and there is another small group here one two and the third one is uh, moldy but they look so nice that I will take some pictures and after that I will take them and I didn't notice another one back there so this is a really great place so I will start to pick them this is the first from that first place but there is another one hidden here so of course I'm taking it then these two guys That's the first place and three more here or actually four. First one I think this is the nicest one. So with the spider. Third one. And fourth one. So I don't want the spider, but I take the other four guys. And place them here together so we can see what the, this find was like. So let's check if they are healthy or if there are any worms inside this one is okay this one has some worms inside but the head will be okay this one is completely good worms Still worms. The hat could be okay. There is a snail.
healthy. Worms. Still some worms. I think the rest would be mostly okay. This one will be okay, just some small parts will need to be cut out. Oh no, it's, it's a bit worse. But the head will be okay. And how about the biggest one? Wormy. Hut will be okay. No holes from worms. So this is what we can take home, very nice. Just right behind me there is another one. Looks nice and fresh. So good find again. We have also found some small chanterelles but we decided to take them because the size is okay for some small dish. And from coniferous forests I have experienced that they don't grow bigger than this usually, but maybe I'm wrong. We have found many mushrooms today, so I decided to split the video to two parts, so the video is not too long. And this is the end of the first part, but before that I want to show you another tip that I just spotted next to the forest road. I think the tip is quite huge. But it's visible that it was growing so quickly that it's already a little bit damaged. You can see how the stump looks like, almost like a flower. That's because it was growing very quickly, but this also means that it's so huge and still young. So looks very good. That's the end of the first part then, thank you for watching, uh, the second part will be ready in maybe in a few days, so you can stay tuned. And see you next time, bye bye.